but uh, don't do it. He's gonna do it. Okay. Earl. Ben. Wait, no. Jeff. <laughs> he pushed the wrong button. He should have pressed the other button. Yeah, he wanted to intensify the bass, but play some funk on us Earthlings. Yeah. Uh, Instead, they ended up in a washing machine that is spitting the earth out into levels that look like Toe Jam and Earl levels, because this is Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Oh, you think? The third? Fourth? Fourth. Uh, there was that Xbox game. Well, big girl. That, uh, let's just not talk about. Um, you ready? This is very much a game built in the spirit of Toe Jam and Earl 1. Okay. With a couple of elements that are nods to Toe Jam and Earl 2. Okay. Uh, and as a big fan of Toe Jam and Earl 1, uh -huh. I kind of like what's going on here. At okay. the same time, I, it, same time so far, kind of just makes me want to play Toe Jam and Earl 1 mm. instead of this. But, uh,. We're gonna jump into my save here. I'm, I'm just on level six of a uh, fixed world. You can't open, you have to, uh, you open up the random world stuff later. Um, oh, are there like? This is a roguelike, a roguelite light. Roguelike light. A rogue it always was. Like The presents light. are random. You pick up random items that give you benefits. You're making through randomly generated levels, though there is a fixed world here. Um, no, we don't want on online players to join. I, that's more than Toe Jam. Who's that? There's Toe Jam there and Old Earls? School Toe Jam, oh. and then Old School Earl, and, you know, Modern Earl. <laughs> I'm like, they have I'm slightly liking, different stats. I'm liking Classic Earl. And you got uh, Lawanda and Letitia here. I've already been playing as Old School Toe Jam. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna just jump back in. Special ability, double time with high tops and nice rocket skates. Mm -hmm. Do you want normal? Easy farty or toddler. What's triangle do? Ah. Standard difficulty. Yep. Okay. Normal. We'll pretty, normal. pretty easy to figure out what difficulty. I, I like when developers are really open about like their difficulties and how yeah, they're different. Like, hey, what does it do? Uh, move this burrito out of here. Uh, yeah, I'm eyeballing that burrito big time. Uh, I don't know anything about Toe Jam and Earl. Okay, so uh, as I said, it's a roguelike. We're here on uh, level six. Basically, uh, we want to go from level to level picking up ship parts. Uh, you're trying to reassemble that ship that blew up in the introductory cutscene. And so we're walking around these levels, um, uncovering the map down there in the corner, and finding items, dodging earthlings, looking out for hazards. Uh, and so on and so forth. I can hit a button to sneak, which is good to sneak by some earthlings sometimes. They've got a search button here. Um, that if you, so you, any of these bushes here, this is the Toe Jam and Earl 2 stuff. Any of these bushes or houses, you can grab and shake. Uh, and sometimes items will pop out. And so that will, th th this will make the, this will highlight any bushes that have items in them when I hit that search button. Are you button. in quicksand? Yeah, I'm in sand also. Want to trade? See, okay. I give this. Okay, I want to burn it up. Amped high tops are good, but I'm not even sure what a burn it up is. Toe Jam loves to burn up. Uh, and then we've got all our presents. These are items that, you know, um, high tops make you run fast. I don't Ram know what any of this means okay. or does. Let's see here. So there'll be hidden paths in a level. This will show them. Okay. So this show is it a one-time use? Yes, time these use? are one-time use items. So you pick up more presents. And when you first get a present, it's just question marks. Like a roguelike. You don't know oh. what they are. So you have to like use one or get it identified. Uh, binding of Isaac or something. Yes, or, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you kind of have to use stuff first to uh, get a sense of what it, what any of it is. Ouch, it's hot. And uh, we just get around and we're, you know, you see up there the, the icon of the ship next to the level number means that there is a ship piece on this level. Okay. And we want to find that. There it is. Found it. Did they ever say piece of ship? Not really. Good. We've got three of the ten pieces of the ship. Price time. What are levels getting you? 
Uh, levels get you a longer life bar, uh, with some more stats. Like, there, there's more stats in this game than there was in, in the first one. Okay. Um, search radio. Okay, so that, that house. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. We can hide in the sunflowers. Damn, I'm not gonna lie. I really like what I'm seeing here. It's, uh... It's fun. This is a little a little government agent with a fake men in black flasher yeah. in his hand. This gives me the vibe of like you know how you remember Drawn to Death? Yeah. Uh, and how it was kind of a neat idea in theory of like all oh, these doodles from your high right. middle school notebooks. Yes. This reminds me of a good execution of that. This game, to me, looks like a fake game from an episode of Aqua Teen Hunter for Under Force. <laughs> yes, yes, very much. Like, you see Meatwad playing this on a television. Like, it looks <laughs> too good in a weird way. And in some aspects of that, I don't like. Like, the way his middle foot looks when I'm walking up. It's a weirdly specific thing here, but I think it looks bad. <laughs> there's something about it that really bothers me about there's the perspective some, Yeah, there's it. some perspective issues that are weird, but I think that's just the it's nature of this um, game. Not yeah. that it excuses it or anything, but I think some stuff's gonna look awkward no matter how well executed it is. Yeah. Uh, it's this weird, like, diorama-esque. Also, in the Genesis game, you could hit buttons here to play drums between levels, and you can't do that here. So oh, that sucks. They, they screwed it up. Basically, it's trash. Um... I unlocked a power hat. Oh, okay. I didn't. Is it hat of hula love? This is the only hat I have unlocked. Uh, it makes me immune to hula dancing. And all the hula girls will respect you. That's good to dude, know. Dude, go find a hula girl. They aren't in every level. Dude, go find a hula girl. Uh oh. Uh oh. So you're not really ever fighting these guys, huh? Uh, so some of the presents are like. Uh, rose bushes that you can leave behind you and they'll walk into them and get hurt or um, there, there are offensive presents I guess is, is the, the th thing to say here. But mostly this is a game about avoiding enemies. Yeah. Let's use the burn it up and see what it does because I don't know what it does. Burn it up. Jump in the water or off the level. Oh god this is bad. Okay. I'm on fire. That's hurting Jump me. off the level. I'm trying to jump off the level. It won't let. Okay there we go. So that brings us back down to level six. But at least I'm not on fire anymore. Why would you use that? Because you don't know what it is the first time you pick it up. It's all question marks. Okay. Except that time, since I got it in a trade with another character, I yeah. was, it was identified. Okay. What's this guy? I don't know what's going on. Oh, sure. Funky Tut. He shook a bunch of stuff Oh, he out shook of... all the stuff. So yeah. now all the presents There's are just out here. There's one more to the left. Oh, is he just huh? walking around with me? Just. Oh, cool. It's a bowling ball. I hate those bowling balls. <laughs> um, let's put some money in this parking meter. And then we can push this button. And then we can put money in this parking meter. What? And then, wait, what? Okay, there's another parking meter up here. This, these baselines remind me of being 14 at my friend's older brother's mm -hmm. room listening to Primus while he tells us about how cool smoking resin is. No, man, resin is cheaper. Okay. It's just more economical. All right, we open the door. So this is another thing from the second game. What? The Hyper Funk Zone. Uh, you can kind of turn invisible or turn invincible here and, and use that to get past obstacles. And you kind of want to go as long as you can, I guess. So that's an exit. We dodged it. I really like this. This is like video game distilled down. Like so many games today just aren't fun. This seems to like be just a fun video game well, for the it's, sake of being it, a video game. It's a modern take on a, a game that was just fucking weird yes. then, you know? And and they've found a way to make it modern weird. Yeah. Uh, but it still evokes original weird as well. It, it's uh. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'd say I'm pretty impressed with it, honestly. It's, exactly. uh, uh, that's a, that's a healer. If I'm hurt, I can go up and pay for a heal here. Oh, it's just a, oh wait, uh, I think I'm ready for a promotion. I need to talk to the carrot guy. Oh no, I'm, I'm not ready for a promotion. There's an XP Heck meter down no. there at the bottom. I don't have any presents to identify. Oh no, I do have one. Okay. It's a decoy. Cool. 
go back to the bonus level. Hyper Funk Zone. Oops, I fucked that up. Well, great. You got Hyper Funked. All right, where on the... I can hold down triangle and find the elevator here, okay. So you don't necessarily have to find everything on a level, but if there is a ship part, you do want yeah, to find it. Yeah, the goal it. is to find all the ship pieces. That that pretty much ends the game. Yeah. Um, and you said this is these are preset levels. Yeah, for this run, this is a preset world, and uh, oh, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Oh God. Seems like the best way to avoid evil earthlings is to just jump in the water. If there's no sunflower nearby. That's true. Or I guess actually, uh, let's try the decoy out. Okay, he's uh, okay. We got the boogeyman, the motherfucker. All right. Uh, where did it go? Decoy. Hey. Wait, where was there a decoy? Did a decoy show up? Uh, he's acting like they did. I think it yeah. is to the right there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Is that Gandhi? Yeah. Uh, if you stand near uh, Gandhi G, he draws a circle of flowers, and you're kind of invincible if you're in the middle of it. Uh. All right, let's get out of here. Oh God, there's a fake elevator. Oh, you got mimicked. Fuck. He's bringing you down. I wonder if you could have, like, got out if you realized... It seemed like there was a moment there where maybe I could have mashed my way out or something. Man, now we're back on level five. And we threw up. So this is kind of a constant thing where you're just like, oh, I got... I'm back down two levels. Yeah. I go back up. Yeah. Hey, you wanna roll? I... 13 or higher. Not great oh. Yeah! Oh! Rolling 20 siders for money <laughs> is the actual Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yeah, me and my friends play D and D out in the alley behind the uh, yeah. Food Max. D low, we call it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I, the introductory cutscene, like the dialogue and stuff, I don't, I don't love it. Like, there's some stuff about the way that these characters have been rendered uh, in this modern setting that I, that I don't I don't love 100% of it, but I gotta say, I'm having an okay time with this thing. Like it, is, it, it, is, it is a good Toe Jam and Earl game, and they have not made a good Toe Jam and Earl game <laughs> since Toe Jam and Earl. When you heard that they were making another Toe Jam and Earl, yeah. was your first reaction like, they need to modernize it or did you want them to do something that was like evoking well, the my, first I think one? I think my reaction anytime they said we were going to make another Toe Jam and Earl all the way back to the second one was well it better be like the first one <laughs> and the second one was a side scrolling platformer. Oh weird. It's a bad game. Weird. Uh, do you think the first one would hold up? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, I think that there's there's things about the sound effects and stuff like the 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 samples used for voice and stuff that I think are tremendous. Uh, in a way that I think, yeah, it, it still would would hold up. You can't save your game though, so it's kind of. You know. mm. I thought that there was a online multiplayer. Yep. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I have not tried it. The game is is out as of tomorrow. Uh, also, it was a Kickstarter game, and so you find some stuff like this. Um, do the high tops let you jump high? The high tops you can jump. There's also like Icarus wings and spring shoes. Let's try the spring shoes. Okay, but the catch is now we have the spring shoes on and I can't actually talk to this person <laughs> until they wear out, which means we're gonna have to find a way off this island as well. Well, just uh, $50 okay. can get you oh. the tier oh. of... I assume these are Kickstarter backers. Cool, some presents. I'm gonna need one to get off of here. 
Okay. Let's use an identify on the one we don't know about. Okay. Fudge Sunday. Sunday. That'll recover some health. Uh, this one has a broken and amped presence, so amped presence will last longer or be better in some way. Uh. Uh. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, yeah, nice. good. Why is my map gone? Okay. Oh, I it's like a triangle to make it go away. All right, so there's no ship piece here. Um, we know where the elevator is now. That's good. Play this on PS4? Yeah. Uh, uh, is it out on other? You know, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's on Xbox and PC. I, I know it's definitely gonna be on Steam. Um, there's a Steam page for it. Oh, there's Santa. We can sneak up on him, we can steal shit. Oh, God. Oh, it's Gandhi. Okay, we're okay. okay. Don't worry, it's just Gandhi. Yeah. So, Jam's a peanut. What is that? I was gonna say, so I'm ranked up. So you have to get enough experience and then visit somebody yeah. to actually level yeah. up. Nice. Hmm. All right, let's get around here and... Uh, looks like it is coming to Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Oh God, I got knocked off the world. Luckily, we got knocked right to where the elevator is. Uh, yeah, so, you know, multiple characters with different stats. Um, and... Fixed world, random world. Uh, there's a tutorial world, which I think is shorter than the other ones, and it'll also kind of stop and say like, hey, like they actually, like maybe it's, it's, it's like, Verbose, it's like almost to a fault in terms of like telling you, hey, uh, here's how everything works, here's what all these humans do, all the other stuff. Like they, they do a really good job of explaining what the hell this thing is. Because <laughs> I know it's not obvious. It is not at all. Let's obvious. use a random present. It's it's oh, I used a randomizer, which then now fuck. Well, now we don't know what any of this shit is. I spawned a good earthling with that present, I guess. What's this one do? Extra life, great. Where is a wizard? Right here. It's a question I'm asking myself all the time. Yeah. Uh, there's also some weird, like, okay, so the first game didn't have all these bushes and trees and like there's just so much everywhere that you can interact with. That sometimes you'll get like a parking meter that spawns on top of a person that spawns on top of a house, and, you know, and and sometimes like actually selecting the thing you want to interact with is harder than you want. Uh, and there are night levels, which is also new. Oh God! No! 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 Go for that insane dentist. All right. Do you even have teeth? It's a good question. You don't even have a mouth. What's that dentist gonna, I guess he can give you a mouth. Yeah, he's gonna drill you a mouth. Um, let's go up a level and then maybe you can try hitting start on that other controller and see what happens. Okay. See if I'll let you jump in or if we have to do that at the start, we might have to, I might have to save and quit. Oh. Uh oh. This is the new PS4 I got to replace the one that got stolen. Uh, yeah. Check this out. Okay, all right. Let's play as New Earl. Okay. All right. Now let's walk uh, on separate screens and see how it handles it. Yeah, cool. How do we... So if... We Hidden paths uh, are sometimes around the edge of an area, and so usually if we, there we go, see? Uh -huh. you just kind of walk near it, it'll start spawning paths. Whoa. You, you can get into this dance game over here. Oh shit, Walk yeah. up into decks. Oh, yeah. Nope, you, you hit X on something else. Oh, you got in, okay.
I thought I was hitting triangles yeah, and X initially. Yes, you the wrong one. I got some experience, you know? Yeah. Is that is an evil drone? All drones are evil. I found a wizard in the bush. I spawned a jackhammer earthling. This is nonsense. <laughs> All right. The first thing. Ah! Why do I keep getting this present menu? Uh, you're hitting circle. Circles, sorry, I should have talked to you at, at all about how the game controls, huh? <laughs> uh, holding X uh, lets you tiptoe. Um, square search and circle is uh, the present menu. Your inventory, basically. And that's kind of it. Triangle will, will help you bring the map up big if you want to see it, if you hold it down, and that. Oh, and then there's quick chat. Uh, I didn't hit circle, and it just used one of my items. Oh, so there's probably an earthling around here that is fucking you over. Yeah, okay. I think it's that guy with the remote control. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. All right, uh, there's no there's no piece on this level. You just want to go up? Yeah, sure. All right. Hey, welcome back. That seamless split, unsplit stuff was kind of mind blowing in the original game. It's cool it, that it's, it's, it's still cool, cool now. Yeah, it's like, still cool. Yeah. Hey, let's. I'm assuming you're stealing my presents. I'm assuming you're stealing mine. <gasps> it's a regular gift of the grift of the magi. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, there's the phone. Whoa. Whoa. Oh god, I'm getting shot. Yeah, I just feel like I don't oh. have any like good There's a dance game over here. Oh god! I summoned a lady with a camera that's fucking reversing my controls. I don't I don't think we're in the same air basic I'm area. Dance. So. Smooth! Oh, I ate bad food and threw up. And then I fell off the fucking level. Hey, but I want to dance. I think you still get to. Hell yeah. Oh, are you creating a beat this time? Yeah. Oh, weird. Okay. Oh, and now I play my beat. I was hitting triangle again instead of mm -hmm. X. Because it's green. It's in the middle, you know, it threw me off. Yeah, no, I, I get you. I used my own beat. So am I just, okay, no, there I am. I mean, you got to learn something there. You got to learn how to lay it down and pick it right back yeah. up. I found a parking meter. Yeah. So you're on level eight? Yeah, I fell off the level. That's wild that we can be on different levels. Yay. Wow. Ah, the drone knocked me out of the level! I, I made it to eight. I'm just getting screwed. <laughs> Ooh, 
I don't know if saying what we're all thinking. Oh, it looks like you can't go up without me to a new level. So I gotta get down, huh? Yeah, I mean, you could just wait in the elevator. Well, that could be... Uh... Okay. Nice, the elevator I got out of was also... Oh, no, never mind. Ah! Hate drones. Oh no, what the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Alright, I'm coming back to level eight. Okay. You can always play the dance game again. Oh, maybe not. Uh -huh. Ah! Alright, I'm almost there. I think it's dumb that they refer to the characters as its full name. Uh, old, old school, school. Toe Jam, you have so many presents! I thought you were saying like, Oh, old school, <laughs> you have so many presents! But... It's in fact way dumber. Yeah. I like this game. It's cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go right. Uh. Mm -hmm. Whoa. What the f- What happened there? <coughs> I was walking on the road and then it just like dragged me over and knocked me off. Uh, that didn't even seem like- I also lost all my money. I'm confused about what just happened to me. Oh, boy balls! Get that guy, no. get him! Come here! How we get this guy? Alright, I got tomatoes. I'm gonna kill this insane dentist. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, dick. I got fucked up. Ooh, you healed both of us. Oh. Ah, boogeyman. Ah. Whoa. Thank Does you. That guy'll steal your presents. Dun, 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 dun. There he is. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Oh yeah. Ha ha. Ow. No! You just stole all my shit! Or not. I accidentally started the dance game. I was trying to shoot tomatoes. Flarney! Okay. Very funky. Oh, yeah. Very complicated, just like me. Oh, man. Check out my mix club. We both got wows, though, so I'll take it. Yeah. Now I make a beat. Oh. Oh, check this one out. I'm also very complex. Like wine. Yeah. 
Damn it. That's right. Wow. Uh, I teleported. Oh, I ate him. Hmm. Oh, I'm my. This troll made my uh, controls be reversed. Alright, I hit the show elevator button. I see it. There it is. Wait, where are we? We're in the top oh. middle. Okay. We just have to figure out how to get to the little island. Whoa. Whoa. So if you kind of walk around these bottom edges, yeah. uh, maybe you'll find a, a path. Oh, I got trolled again! Uh. I just... There we go. I don't know how to get there. I feel like we walked along the bottom pretty well. Oops. Let's take the door. Oh, okay, yeah. I moved us barely. Yeah. Wait, let's high five. Uh, that, I think that like averages our health. Yeah. Or like it, it's. <coughs> <coughs> kind of cool. Whoa. Hmm. Are there instances like this where it's like, well, we gotta fall? Whoa. I, Whoa. Maybe. I feel like it was. Whoa. That generally Whoa. didn't happen. But also, I've got high tops, so I might just be able to jump. So how am I gonna get there? Oh, yeah. Uh, check and see if you got him. No, we were not on the same screen, so you didn't get him. That's how we probably should have done that. Also, I just jumped and fell. So, turns out my plan was shit all over the place. Oh, poop. Not all of us have max speed. All right. Maybe that's all we need to see here. Yeah. Um, this seems like a game of experiencing what it has to offer for yourself. Like just seeing all the weird, yeah. random And And there's there. a, like a, you know, a, it seems like there are a bunch of new enemies. Like it's, I, I think they've done a good job of like capturing the weirdness and the feel of that first game. Uh, and yeah, there's something about just the, the style of it, the visual aspect of it that is just bizarre yeah, in, that, I, in that fake video game way. It's kind of cool that real video games can look like fake video games now. <laughs> yeah, the graphics have gotten good enough. Oh, I thought that was a yeah. secret path. It was the most secretive paths. Uh, let's try jumping off again. Almost out of time. No, I'm not even. You know, I'm not even in the right spot. Whoa. Found a slingshot. Whoa. Whoa. Shoot tomatoes. Whoa. Whoa. I just want to go find that. This fucking guy. Whoa. Whoa. Suck it. Whoa. 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 Oh, okay, that's what it was happening. Like, this this road goes over the edge of the world? That seems broken. That seems like a bug. Because it doesn't count as, like, walkable road. Yeah. So that's what happened, is I walked and fell off. Oh, so, yeah. Because somehow they drove, they, they drew the road over. That's weird, because this isn't even a random level. It's supposed to be a fixed world. Uh, strange. Well, it just took, uh, like, I, I think this game has been patched, like, twice since, uh since I got my hands on it, and 
it's right. not it's even not out, out yet. Yeah. So. Maybe they've got a little bit of work to do around the edges, huh? Uh, but we'll see. That's uh, Tojo Mineral back in the groove. Also, you can fall all the way down and find level zero. That's in here from the first game. It's got the hot tub. It's got the hot tub, Ben. Oh! Yeah. I was wondering if it had the hot tub. Oh, it has the hot tub. Well, Thanks, Jeff, ben. I'm gonna go take yeah. a dip. 